People ask me about my bass guitars. My first guitar was given to me when I was five years old, and I still have a picture of me in that guitar. Aww. I'm going to say that that guitar was a prediction of the future because it had four strings, and I eventually became the bass guitar player for the Shillings. <laughs> my first real guitar was a 1965 copper colored. Dan Electro short scale bass. It had vinyl white side panels. My favorite story about that Dan Electro bass was concerning one of the Schilling's first performances. The Schilling's were asked to play at uh, The Hub, which was a regular dance record hop, as they were called back then, at the YMCA in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And this particular night, they were opening for the British rock group Freddie and the Dreamers. Freddie and the Dreamers were from England. They would raise their legs while they played and sang the song. They had several hit songs at that time. One of those songs was called Do the Freddie. manager of Freddy and the Dreamers approached me and said, Dale, we have a problem. Um, our equipment, our instruments haven't arrived here in Allentown. Could we borrow the Schilling's instruments to do the performance? We all said we would be honored to let Freddy and the Dreamers use our instruments, so Tom and I went into Freddy and the Dreamers' dressing room with our guitars. They were all dressed in their suits. So I walked over to Pete Burrell, the bass player for Freddie and the Dreamers. Pete was about six feet tall and 225 pounds. So I handed him my short scale little Dan Electro bass. He put the guitar on, he looked down, and in his English accent he said, it's a bloody toy. And I thought, oh man. So the next day, I shared that story with my father. And he said, well, you know what we need to do? Let's go to the music store. I'm going to help you buy a real bass. So he helped me buy a 1967 Fender Sunburst Jazz Bass, one of the best basses you could possibly play. And I thought, Pete, I wish you could see this bass. And that guitar turns out to be a one-of-a-kind bass guitar. Well, that's the story of my first bass, the 1965 Dan Electro. Now the story doesn't end there. So follow us on YouTube and Facebook for part two of more stories of Mark Jennings' bass guitars. Thanks for watching. If anybody's interested, I played a white pearl drum set, Ludwig, with a tom tom, a snare drum, floor tom, a couple of Zildjian cymbals, hi hat, just like Ringo.